when you're referring to the younger dryas, you're referring to the younger dryas impact theory. And this <clears throat> impact theory, you believe, probably ended the ice age, caused the extinction of many mammals and many species of life all over the uh, earth. All over the earth. And reset civilization. Pretty much, yeah. In a nutshell, that's going to be. That is somewhere <laughs> around 11,000, well, 12,000 years okay, ago. Okay, the dating of it, there, there's the younger Dryas itself is a, about a 1,300-year interval. So to put in this in perspective, go back 16 to 20,000 years ago, we're in the middle of the late glacial maximum, when more than double the amount of glacial ice on the planet now. We had North America, half of North America is buried under an ice sheet bigger than the one that now covers the South Pole. Around 15,000 years ago, 14,500 to 15,000 years ago, the climate began to warm. And this is probably because the changing geometries between the Earth and the Sun has this, it's called the Milankovitch cycles, and it basically is just the, the geometric relation between the Earth and the Sun, the orbit, the tilt of the Earth's axis, and so on, brings about gradual warming and gradual cooling. What has been documented now is that the gradual warming began between 14,500 and 15,000 years ago. And so the great ice sheets began to shrink back, and they lost maybe 10 to 15 percent of their maximum mass and now the planet is plunged back into full glacial cold and it takes like 1300 years for the planet to resume its upward arc of, of warming 